this panda eats about 30 kilos of bamboo a day. After lunch, he needs a little nap to digest before creating more than 10 kilos of compact dung. To avoid it going to waste, the Boval Zoo has built its own biogas factory. We can say that we use the manure, the panda's manure, to heat the elephants. But this is more of an image because the elephants produce more electricity, obviously. The biogas plant started operating last year. Now, several times a day, the manure from all parts of the zoo is brought here. Up to 4,000 tons of animal waste annually. In this silo, you've got digestate residue, and methane gas is generated at the top. Then it's transferred over there, where we separate the gas to be co-generated. Even the leftovers are green. The residues are turned into high-quality organic fertilizer for the agriculture sector. The biogas plant produces the equivalent of powering 300 houses, but most of it is used by the zoo itself. The power generated by this kind of renewable energy site in our region has reached 69 megawatts, so it represents more than 17% of renewable energy. Every animal in the zoo makes their contribution, but the bigger the animal, the more they produce. We've got Limbo, he's our male elephant. Um, he weighs, uh, weighs in at five tons, so obviously he, he produces quite a lot of poo. So you could say he's our uh, little dynamo. Soon, the zoo will welcome hippos, bringing France closer to becoming more energy efficient.